Hello, so glad you're here with us. I'm three, please tell me your name. One, two, three. It's nice to meet you. Now here are your instructions. When you see your color light up like this, hold your glow stick up, then put it down. Let's practice. Red, ready, go. Good, except for you who didn't put your light down. Let's try it again. Red, blue, ready, go. Now again, red, blue, green, go. Red, blue, green, yellow, ready, go. I think you got it. That's it for the instructions. Merry Christmas. That was awesome, guys. Well, welcome to Christmas at Christ Community. My name is Jeff, and I'm uh, one of the pastors here. Last night, I commented that the red side was like by far the best color because they were just on it. Tonight, you guys were kind of the same. Um, but red's gonna win again, and I'll tell you why. It's really not fair. There's a guy in the back who looked like an air traffic controller. Where are you at? 
he had two of them. He was going ham. And then there was this other kid who was throwing them in the air every time <laughs> that the color would go up. So, yeah, red wins again. Let's give it up for red. Good job, guys. Uh, feel free to use these throughout the night. If your kids get crazy, uh, this thing will sustain them, I promise you. If your husband gets out of line, this will sustain him, I promise. So, well, hey, we're just so excited that you're here um, tonight. Last night, we had an incredible time together. We packed out the house. It looks like we're pretty packed again tonight. Um, but we're just excited to usher in this season uh, with songs of Christmas. And uh, we hope that you'll leave tonight with a smile on your face. Uh, we hope that you leave encouraged uh, by what you experience here tonight. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Christmas at Christ Community. Ring, are you listening? 
in the lane snow is glistening a beautiful sight we're happy tonight walking in a winter wonderland Gone away is the bluebird, here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow we can build a snowman, then pretend that he is Parson Brown. He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man. But you can do the job when you're in town later on. We'll conspire as we dream by the fire To face unafraid the plans that we made Walking in a winter wonderland Listen and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your day.
will be ringing the sad, sad news. Oh, what a Christmas to have the blues. My baby's gone. I have no friends to wish me greetings once again. Christmas by New Year's night Friends and relations Send salutations Time of year to be with the ones you love. So won't you tell me you'll never go wrong? 
Christmas and New Year's will find you home. There'll be no more sorrow. Once again, come on, take it away, Obi. Once again, I'll be home, I'll be home for Christmas. I'll be home, I'll be home. singing bass. Hi guys! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, every year, uh, such a special part of our concert is having our kids come up and sing a couple songs for you guys. So as they're coming out, I want to introduce the cutest one, on, well, the two cutest. Where's the other one at? 
This is cute as a little boy. No, I'm just kidding, he's mine. Um, all your kids are cute, relax. Um, but uh, so we're gonna uh, let them just take the stage for a couple songs. And so why don't you welcome the Christ Community Kids to our stage.
It was that silent night when the stars turned their gaze to marvel at the earth. When the heavens gathered breathless round a lowly stable. When a young mother wept tears of worship, falling on the baby in her arms. And the song of the earth arose in Bethlehem, soft as the tender beating of his heart. And all was calm, all was bright. Yet could this be the same God of Abraham, the conqueror of Israel, this baby? This fragile life. Is this child the one who burned his name in rapture across the gasping skies? Whose voice spoke the oceans into crashing rhythms? Who crafted the mountains into guardians of the firmament? Whose hand ignited the thirst of the deserts and the warring surge of the elemental hosts? Who breathed life from dust? Broke the oppressor's rule? scattered the chains of his people like sand and led them through the wilderness with a pillar of flame. Is this child the one whose presence billowed thunderous on Sinai's peak? Who surrounded Job with the roaring wind, stood defiant in the raging furnace, wrote judgment against tyrants and blazed on the lips of the prophets, scorching history's pages with the fury of his might? Could this be the same God who chose to come as the vulnerable king, setting his throne on straw and manger, drawing forth the tears of shepherds, receiving the gifts of wandering travelers, his fame unknown in this world? He is Jesus, the one who thunders through the heavens, yet whispers to our hearts, who reigns victorious, yet bows to serve the broken. He is God in the fury, God in the silence. He holds this mystery balanced in his hands, holds our questions till they lose their need, until all we see is him.
Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay.
child prays for peace on earth and she's calling out from a sea of hurt oh come oh come Son of God and Son of Man, heaven's light and love, sent to us upon this land, divinity with us. Born of woman, virgin birth, prophecies fulfilled, traded throne for manger low, glory come to earth. God in stable aid, humble in his reign, 
shepherds and the wise men came to look upon God's face. And angels joined in choir songs, the time had finally come for love to open up the way and bring the wandering home. Hallelujah, Christ is born. Emmanuel has come.
Good evening, church. My name is Daniel. I have the privilege of serving as the student pastor here at Christ Community. And I was sitting in the back just a moment ago just reflecting on what a special moment this is. That we get to sit here surrounded by friends and family and fix our hearts and our eyes and our minds on Jesus. Who some 2,000 years ago was born in a manger came to save us. And I was thinking about the Christmas season and all the things that bring so much joy about it, from the lights, to the decorations, to the food, to the family time, and all these things. And I know for many of us, one of the things that brings us great joy about Christmas is the spirit of giving. And I was thinking about how in my life, one thing that I kind of struggle with, just being honest, whenever I'm giving a gift is anticipating or expecting a specific response. And so this can kind of get me in trouble sometimes because sometimes I just don't want the thank you or the smile. I want kind of jaw on the floor, tears rolling down the cheek kind of response to the gift that I've picked out. It rarely happens. And I remember a few years ago, my Lovely wife Paige was struggling with some shoulder issues and some back issues, and it seemed like almost every single day she would come up to me and say, hey Daniel, will you massage my back and rub my shoulders? And like any good problem-solving husband, I said, what if instead of her having to ask me for a massage, I just bought her one of those little neck massage things? Based off your reaction, I assume you know that her reaction was not quite what I was expecting. But I think that many of us, if we're honest, can relate to this mentality because every great gift demands a great response. And I was reflecting on one of the most famous, if not the most famous verses in the entire Bible and how that relates to the season that we find ourselves in right now. John 3.16, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And I don't know what it is that brought you into this room tonight. Maybe you were invited by a neighbor or a friend from work. Maybe you saw an advertisement on social media. Maybe you're just looking for some fun music to kind of get you into the holiday spirit. I also have no idea what kind of weight you're carrying into this place tonight, and for some of you, you may be here, and if you're honest with me and with yourself, you would say, this year's been really hard. You've experienced pain and loss and tragedy, and you're coming into this place tonight carrying that weight. And others of you, you're tired and exhausted, and the weight and the worry of the world is just weighing down on you. Everyone in this room is carrying something. Maybe it's hopelessness, maybe it's fear, anxiety, loneliness, sadness, or hurt. And I think that this is why, for so many of us, we love the Christmas season, because for 11 months of the year, we're painfully aware of the brokenness of this world. We see it in the loved ones that we've lost. We feel it in our bodies breaking down because of sickness and illness. We encounter it through the trials that we face. And for just a short period of time, for one month of the year, we can make our houses look pretty and make our homes look nice and gather with friends and family and eat good food, but the decorations will come down, the food will run out, the family time probably won't be as good as we had hoped for, and we'll leave the season feeling exactly how we felt entering it. Lonely, broken, tired, and sad. 
The issue is, for many of us, we turn to a holiday season to give us a sense of joy when true joy can only be found in a savior. And I think that we know that the world is broken and we can feel it and we can see it on the news, but I don't know if many of us are aware of the fact that we are contributors of the brokenness that we feel in this world. You see, the Bible tells us that God created the heavens and the earth and said that it was good. But sadly, sin entered and corrupted all of creation. And Romans 3, 23 tells us that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means that in our nature, at our core, you and I are born in a state of rebellion against God. We sin against him with our thoughts, with our words, and with our actions. And the Bible tells us that that sin creates a distance between us and God that no amount of good works or good deeds could ever repair. And it's in that, understanding our sinfulness, that John 3.16 is so incredible. Because for God so loved the world, for God so loved you, that he gave his only son, all-powerful, almighty, all-knowing God, the one who created everything that we see and holds it together by the power of his word, so loved you that he sent his only son. Isaiah chapter nine, verse six says, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And he didn't give his son just for us to have a happy holidays. He didn't give his son so that we could open up some nice gifts. He sent his son to be born in the form of a servant, the form of his very own creation, to live a perfect life, to be betrayed by his very own, to be mocked and beaten, nailed to a cross, killed and buried, and three days later, to raise him from the dead so that we could have eternal life with him and the distance that our sins created could be erased. Every great gift demands a great response, and tonight, the gift that God is offering you only really has two responses. You can choose to believe it, or you can choose to walk in unbelief. I know what's creeping into many of your minds right now. Of course, I believe in Jesus. But has your belief in Jesus changed you? Because if your belief in Jesus hasn't changed you, then it probably isn't real. See, the Bible tells us that any time a person believes and follows Jesus, repentance always follows. It's a turning from my way of living to living for him. Saving belief in Jesus always leads to life change. And I don't think that it would be a stretch in this room to say that there are many people here who have never turned from their sin and believed in Jesus. Sure, you may tell people Merry Christmas instead of Happy Holidays, and of course you're gonna attend all the, the two major church services each and every year, and sure, you may even tell people that you're a Christian, but if your head belief of Jesus has never translated into a heart belief in him and a declaration of him as Lord of your life, then you've never truly believed in him. And your response to Jesus and to his gift on this side of eternity directly determines where your life will end up. Because even in John 3, 16, it says that the ones who believe in him receive eternal life, and the ones who don't will perish in eternity apart from the love of God. And maybe for the first time you're here tonight and you're contemplating the love that God has for you and sending his son, Jesus. Tonight, you can turn from your sin and receive the free gift of God in eternal life, in salvation, every sin wiped clean, your life made new, and receive the promise of eternal life with Jesus. 
Every great gift demands a great response. And God says, I've given you the greatest gift that could ever be given. What's your response to that tonight? Are you believing or are you perishing? I want to invite everyone in the room to bow their heads and close their eyes for just a moment. Believe that right now God is moving, God is stirring hearts, God is drawing people unto himself in this very moment. And if you're here tonight with every head bowed and every eye closed, if you feel the Spirit of God stirring you to believe in Jesus, to turn from your way of living, you know that your way isn't working anymore and you wanna receive the free gift of salvation that God is offering through his son Jesus. And right now, you wanna say that tonight, December 13th, Monday night, you wanna believe in Jesus and you want to receive forgiveness of your sins, be made a new creation and receive the promise of eternal life with him. You can do that right now. In your own mind, in your own heart, just confess your sin. Ask Jesus to forgive you and to save you. Declare him as Lord of your life. And if that's you, and if tonight you wanna make that declaration, you wanna receive forgiveness and new life with Jesus, would you just raise your hand? No one's looking around. Just slip your hand up. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And Father God, we thank you for the fact that you loved the world so much that you gave your son for a people who didn't deserve it. God, I thank you for every person in this room and every hand that went up. God, and I pray that they would just declare you as Lord. Believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. We thank you for the free gift of salvation and we pray that our response would be belief. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. If tonight you decided that you wanted to make Jesus Lord of your life and you gave your life to Christ tonight, we're gonna have a phone number up on the screen. We just wanna follow up with you. We wanna know about your decision. We wanna help you follow Jesus. Just text the word Jesus to the number on the screen, 704-584-9100. Five, one. Text Jesus to that number and we would love to follow up with you. Every great gift demands a great response. Tonight we're gonna conclude our service by the team leading us in just a, a few more songs and we hope and pray that you'll enjoy the rest of the night.
I loved that. I am so proud of our team. Give it up for them. So proud of our worship team, uh, our staff team, our volunteers, our band. Man, y'all just crushed it tonight. Thank you so much for all the work that you put in uh, to serve us this way and this season. Hey, uh, we have uh, had a great time tonight, and uh, we have one more performance tomorrow night. And so if you uh, want to come back tomorrow night, invite some, fr- some folks to come with you. It'll start at 6.30 p.m. As you can tell, you need to get here a little early. And uh, we are so thankful again that you have decided to worship with us on this evening. I want to give you some direction. Uh, on next Sunday morning, at, uh, December 19th at 9, 15, 11 o'clock, we will have our Christ Community Hymns and Communion service, which will just be uh, hymns of the holidays and some older hymns as well. And we'll take communion together. It'll be a really special service. And then we would love to have you and your family joining us. Uh, join us for our Christmas Eve services on December 24th, uh, 4th at 2 o'clock, 3.30, and 5 o'clock p.m. on December 24th. So Christmas Eve services will be candlelight. They're shorter in nature. It's going to be a blast. Listen, I know there's a lot of things going on in your life as you close out the year, but here's my little encouragement. There's nothing more important than your spiritual walk with God. Nothing more important than your walk with God. God. Secondly, there's nothing more important than the fellowship that we share in God's family with this church. I want to encourage you, if you don't have a church home, we'd love to have you here with us at Christ Community. And if you do, praise the Lord. If you have other questions about those things, we'd love to talk to you about those afterwards. Thank you again. Jeff, bring us home. this night by wishing you all a holly jolly Christmas. So I'm pretty sure you've all seen Rudolph. You know the words. So if you don't, come on, sing along with us. Let's go. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know and every one you mean. Oh, oh, the mistletoe hung where you can see. Somebody waits for you. Kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you didn't hear, oh by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Jolly Christmas, it's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. Oh, the mistletoe on where you can see. Somebody waits for you. Kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you didn't hear, oh by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Oh, oh, oh. Holly jolly. Holly jolly. bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Everybody! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, 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 the mistletoe hung where you can see. Somebody waits for you. Kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. 